Just 
don't always work out in the end. Siegfried, no matter how good your friends are, they will betray you. Yes, you will be betrayed. Someday, you will be consumed with the desire for power once more. What is true power? I don't. Legends. Yeah, you guys probably didn't already think what I think. So, okay, let me start with the good things. So, of course, the music is great, you know, and of course, it's great fan service, too, I gotta say, for Soul Calibur fans, and yeah. Um, I never really tried this game out in two player, so I can't quite uh, judge it for that. Uh, the guest character was pretty cool, Lloyd. I, I actually do like Lloyd in this game a lot. But, um... Okay, so... <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room. The, um... Overall controls were very funky. Um, in that last fight where he was uh, throwing those discs at me, you couldn't just, like, hit them. You had to, like, uh... Hit it sideways if it was uh, like if it was a sideways disc, or if it was like a facing upward, then you have to like a uh, strike forward. Yeah, it was awkward, and the controls uh, get a little bit finicky with that. Um, really, they I feel like they overdid this game. I'm sorry to say, it's yeah, that's uh, because the main focus was defeat Barbaros, game over. Happy ending, you know? Happy ever after. Of course, they had to put the uh, twist or the betrayal in there, which we've grown to see multiple times. In video games, I think it might... Um, it uh, gets away with it easier. Because, like, in movies, like, it's super cliche to, like, see a betrayal or, like, a lie reveal, and... Yeah, it's... It, it, it kind of uh, transferred into this game, for me, at least. Um, throughout this playthrough, that I felt like Siegfried was the worst character, but the more I thought about it and everything, I think it's because he's just, uh, they made him go solo, and this game is, uh, pretty difficult with uh, just one character going by themselves, so, I, uh, I definitely couldn't make a tier list out of this game, that's for, that's for certain, but if I had any favorite characters to play out, definitely Mitsurugi and Sofitia were definitely my favorites. Uh, yeah, other than that, that's really my old thoughts on the game. That's, uh, kind of understand it's welcome. I know Namco, they are a juggernaut of a company, and they deserve so much praise. And I, I love Namco. I, I love their games and everything. Tales and, of course, Pac-Man, being as uh, iconic as that is. Uh, Tekken and even Soul Calibur, like they they got a good lineup, but yeah, this one definitely that it hit its mark. I, I, I'm sorry to say, but anywho, I do have uh, more exciting news. So I don't know if I already shared this or not. Um, with the on my on my channel that is, I plan on doing a Pokemon playthrough, and um, what game that would be is. Um, I kind of want to say I want to build up suspense, but ah, screw it. We're gonna we're gonna do uh, Pokemon Emerald, my uh, 
my favorite generation. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, for, but of course, I do want to do um, Sonic Adventure 2 first. And uh, we're going to be playing the Dreamcast version. So that's going to be exciting. The story of the two swords continues, transcending history and the world. Time and again challenging mankind to ponder the question, what is true power? You have your party and quest. That was pretty much all. And I, I, I um, never played two players, so I can't quite judge that for what it is. Anyways, yeah, I'm kind of prolonging in this video than it needs to be. But I will say, I really, really wanted to like this game. But it does have multiple flaws that's weighing it down. That's just what I'm not going to leave it as. But if you like this game, power to you. Like, you enjoy what you like, and I will enjoy what I like. You know, it's, that's what makes um, opinions and just entertainment itself um, what it is and what makes us keep going. Anyways, I'm kind of babble on here. So stay tuned. Next up is going to be uh, Sonic Adventure. I'm going to, of course, uh, probably take a few weeks off. We'll see. I, I do have a lot going on in my personal life at the moment, so I got to juggle with all that and everything. But uh, it will come up. I do promise you that. So, this is Sprat signing off.